structures on the moon and Mars. Look at that wall. It goes all the way up. Look at that. It's a good crater. I mean, dome. Scientists here still think that's natural, really. Look at the wall. How how high that goes. Look from the ground, it just keeps going up. That that means these people could never flown in a circular way unless the way they were on another part that is not around that thing. They have to avoid that structure. Because that's what's on the background, exactly like our Peter Nell show in the moon is your worst nightmare. These structures are all over the moon sticking up. That moon cannot be rotating for that reason. All that crap attached to the moon, it, was, it wouldn't be possible for that to be rotating. Essentially, they're plastering, they're plastering a hologram in front of us to make us see something that is not really like that. Look at that wall. Look at that wall that goes way up there. They just keep going. Look at that. I mean, that is just a structure that is miles and miles and miles. Imagine, that wouldn't even be able to, these people couldn't even see the end of it. Possible. That's right, Murray. You know what I'm talking about. Rows upon rows. And that's what you see on every planet and every moon. A structure surrounding that thing. Every single celestial body is inside a hole. It's inside a huge ring. And it's inside a, a deep well. Earth well is 240,000 miles deep. That's why we don't see stars, because we're surrounded by walls, electromagnetic walls. This whole solar system is artificial. This is strange that so we are in an empty corner of this galaxy. There's nothing around us. The only thing, the closest thing is Alpha Centauri, and it's five light years away. That's a long distance from us. A speed of light, it'll take us long five years. No way, it'll take us a long time. About well, 30,000 years to get there. Mine.